in this lecture, we will be discussing the uh, hedging methods. One of the hedging method is money market hedging. This is uh, basically an external techniques of hedging in which uh, we use money market lending and borrowing facilities to create a hedge setup through which we do not have to translate our currency and ultimately whatever you will be received it, it it in the local currency so how you can deal with the money market hedging solution there are two cases of money market hedging one is the recept case in which you are receiving foreign currency at a future date so what is the issue is that if foreign currency depreciates then the amount to be received in terms of local currency would be fallen and as far as the payment is concerned the risk is that if uh, foreign currency appreciate then you have to pay more amount in your local currency so in order to hedge that risk the money market hedging technique can be used against both receipts and payments so let's discuss the case of money market hedging receipt issue for example if you are expecting a foreign currency receipt in say three months time the thing is that you have to balance it with by creating a foreign currency obligation or borrow a foreign currency amount from a bank or somewhere else the purpose of creating a foreign currency obligation is that when you get the receipt of foreign currency you can pay off your liability through this receipt now how to use that foreign currency receipt option you have to follow these steps the step number one borrow appropriate foreign currency you have to create the present value of receipt this is the amount that you need to borrow now and the amount would automatically be equal to the amount of receipt in three months time after borrowing appropriate foreign currency what you have to do you have to convert it into your local currency now by using the spot exchange rate once the currency has been converted into your local currency deposit that local currency into a bank account and at the completion of three months now you have two options first is that pay your foreign currency loan from your foreign currency receipts that will be achieved in three months time and your liability has been settled your receipt has been consumed now whatever amount you have deposited in local currency withdraw that amount and that is the equivalent of foreign currency receipt this is the local currency against that foreign currency receipt so this is an ideal way through which you can get local currency against foreign currency receipt by not selling or borrowing currency but by just having a uh, money market operations that is money market lending or money market through lending or through borrowing now let's apply these steps into a question what it might be a, a similar question might comes in the exam in which you have to evaluate and you have to find out the local currency against that receipt let's see the question the domestic currency is uk pound gbp the foreign currency is francs swiss francs expected receipt is 2.5 million swiss francs which is to be received in three months time that means you have to create an exposure for three months current export exchange rate now the spot exchange rate is being quoted as one gbp what it means if exchange rate is quoted in local currency one unit is in local currency then it is called an indirect quote and an indirect quote remember the rule the bank sell low and buy high that means that if you want to find out the bank selling rate the bank always sell low and that means this is the bank's selling rate and this is the bank's borrowing rate 
now the spot exchange rate has been given one rate we have to use either the borrowing rate either the selling rate or the buying rate as per the situation now two rates has been given against gbp the gbp deposit rate and gbp borrowing rate if you deposit an amount in gbp you will get 8% per annum and if you borrow in gbp that means 10% per annum if you deposit in francs that is 5% and if you borrow in francs if you deposit in fr francs that is 5% if you borrow in francs that is 7% now as per the steps created by us we need to borrow in foreign currency we need to borrow in foreign currency so ideally the foreign currency borrowing rate is to be used and we need to deposit in local currency so ideally these two rates are relevant and other two are irrelevant rates what is the receipt in pound now what is the receipt in pound with our money market hedging so let's discuss it the first step is you have to find out how much francs that is the foreign currency you have to borrow now so you have to identify the receipts 2.5 million you have to identify the present value of 2.5 million so this is the receipt in order to find out the present value you need uh, interest rate the borrowing rate is 7% per annum convert this 7% into 3 months that is 1.75 for 3 months now divide 2.5 million million receipt from for this 1.75% in order to find out the present value this is simply the formula for present value and the present value you need to borrow now is 2457002 that means if you borrow 2457002 now after 3 month that borrowing plus interest will equal to 2.5 million and that is exactly what is your receipt in step number 2 from the borrowing amount convert this borrowing amount translate into gbp when we translate it into gbp then it means that we have foreign currency available so we will sell that foreign currency to a bank and bank will buy foreign currency and when when bank buy foreign currency bank sell low and buy high so that means 2.2510 rate is to be used against this translation so foreign currency receipt in present value terms divided by the spot rate and now this is the amount converted into local currency now we have what we have in our hand that is the translated amount that is the local amount local currency amount 1091516 now today so deposit this amount for 3 month in a bank account using 8% per annum interest rate See the question: the deposit rate of GBP is eight percent per annum. So in three months' time, that eight percent amount would be two percent. So now, this is the deposit amount. After three months, that amount would be triple one double three four six. This is the amount of our deposit account. So now, at the time of maturity, when maturity comes, what you have to do? pay your liability from your 2.5 million receipt used to pay your liability and that is that liability is loan plus 3 month interest amount and your deposit amount is 1113346 withdraw withdraw that deposit from bank account so this is the translated amount of 2.5 million francs in gbp